Hello, I'm Michael Lowe. I'm the founder and CTO of iConnectivity. I wanted to show you guys our iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. Uh, it is a 4 in, 4 out audio MIDI interface. So you'll see that it's got uh, four in and out jacks for MIDI. And uh, you'll notice that it's no audio and we say it's an audio interface. Well, what it does is what we call audio pass through. You guys have seen this in the iConnect MIDI 2 Plus. What a, uh, the feature of passing audio between two device ports. So your iPad can now be an integral part of your workflow and it, it, the digital audio from the iPad can go directly to your computer. Very low latency and at full quality. But this one actually has three device ports so you can actually have two iPads and a computer connected to your uh, device at the same time and pass the audio. Can you use computer to computer as well? You can do up to three computers. It's three computing devices. So it could be three computers, an iPad and two computers, or three iPads, all those. The uh, also added advantage is the two ports on the front actually will charge your iPad, or at least keep it alive power so you can go for really long play. We also have on here a USB host port. And with that host port, you can host up to eight MIDI controllers all at the same time on this device using a standard USB powered hub. Uh, a single one, of course, itself, it'll power it itself, but if you want more, you can just use a standard power hub and connect up to eight. So you and mean you can set the whole thing up without a computer involved? The, ex in, with, the, with, our, uh, with our iConfig software, you can go in and configure the box to do all the routing, filtering, mapping, anything you want with the MIDI, and once you have that setting you like, you save it into the flash of the box, and then from then on, whenever it powers up, it's ready to go. So you can, you, you can even bridge between your USB MIDI gear and your DEN gear through our box with uh, no computer required. But of course the computer is going to give you the power you want. <laughs> uh, we also have in here the uh, Ethernet interface which does uh, RTP MIDI or Ethernet MIDI. And that allows you to discover the box on the network. And I'll show in a, here in a bit that you can actually with an iPad uh, with our software connect through a Wi-Fi router to our box and see all the MIDI gear that's on the box. So audio pass through, four in, four out, MIDI interface. Uh, it's got the uh, um, three device ports for three computing devices, iPad or computer, and the uh, host port up to eight USB MIDI controllers, and then of course the ethernet interface. All, all this is now available. Uh, we, uh, we design has been complete on this for some time, and we've just been waiting for manufacturing to catch up to us. And we just received word that the manufacturing line has run, run the boards, and they will be shipping out to us very soon. So, I mean, the thing about this is it's such an obvious problem that needs a solution. How come everybody else can't do it? Is it really difficult to do? Well, <laughs> is it is difficult to do, yes. Uh, we, we actually, uh, the engineers at iConnectivity, they come from a data background, and we, we actually come from the cellular industry, and we just looked at it a bit differently, and we said, what would be very useful to the music industry? And we took our expertise of handling data there and put it into the box, and that allowed us, and our intellectual property allowed us to do more than one device. And this synchronizing of the timing of the audio and everything, it's all done in our, in our, in our IP inside the box. So that's in the box, not in the drivers, right? It is in the box, not in the drivers. Right. Yeah. So yeah. you've got some more stuff to show us, right? Well, I'll show you a quick demo of what we got set up here. We got a unit that's connected up to this uh, keyboard through USB, and then as well an iPad and the Mac, Mac computer. And the Mac also is connected to the Duet just for the monitor sound. So what we've got going on here is the control, control message from the uh, uh, keyboard is going to actually both the computer and the iPad at the same time. So you'll see, you'll see it's going between the the two at the same time. Um, but what's happening is we're actually taking the digital audio from the iPad that's created from the Animu app we have running here, and we're passing it through our box to the computer. And that's actually what you're going to hear. If we turn this up a bit so you can hear it on the. So that's what you're hearing through through the device. The, the control message is going through our box into the iPad. The iPad's generating the audio. The audio is going through, again, at very low latency, full quality, into the 
Macintosh. And so your DAW now with the iPad, your iPad is an integral part of your workflow in real time and very solid. I also wanted to show you the, another capability that we've got. I will uh, do my oh, code elsewhere. My eyes. <laughs> yeah, very, um, so one of the things is, like I said, we got that ethernet interface on the back. And that ethernet interface is connected into a Wi-Fi uh, hub we've got here. And what I'm gonna do is run our new Net MIDI software. This actually will work with any, um, any, uh, MIDI. yeah, RTP MIDI. So if you have your Mac configured or or whatever with the RTP MIDI running and it's discoverable, the this application will find it. And with Net MIDI now, you no longer need to go to the Mac to create the network session to the iPad. From the iPad, you can just create the network session. So it's called Net MIDI. We launched this a couple of days ago. It is a free app. Anybody's welcome to use it. And you can now create your net network sessions from your iPad, which we think is a great RTP feature. MIDI is very underrated. I mean, we use it to connect all our computers, Mac or PC, in the studio, and it's just great stuff. Yeah, and, and in a studio setting, uh, RT MIDI, MIDI is fine, because you generally in your studio, you're probably the only one using the Wi-Fi. So you're in good shape, and the latency is pretty good, and, and it's the ultimate control. Uh, but it, I wouldn't use it in a, a live stage, because of course, Wi-Fi, you lose, even around here is kind of risky, so hopefully this will go well for us. But in this, essentially what I've done is I've created a session to the first port, and we supply four inside the, uh, our, um, uh, we supply up to four RTB MIDI sessions to the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. I've just created a session to the first one. So now I can go to any application that supports uh, Core MIDI, and I think uh, I'm running Music Studio on here which uh, supports Core MIDI. And you'll see I'll be able to play the note, and that's actually coming through this system now, just like the controller did. So it's, it's controlling the animo, which is then the audio coming back. That's correct. Or, of course, we can go back the other way. Uh, I don't know where, where are we are, C4. Let's uh, shift this down a bit. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, I can't, uh, I don't oh, know well, where he's arranged. So that, that, that would actually it's bi-directional. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's bi-directional. Uh, but I mean, you, you can imagine you can, you can uh, some kinds of workflows uh, that you may want to do, or maybe you just want to configure our box. Our iConfig software, of course, will work through here as well. So I'm going to just get our iConfig software. And so now that all those configurations that you do, uh, you can do wirelessly with our box, setting your, setting your routing, your filtering, uh, channel mapping, anything you can do here instead of uh, needing to be actually connected computer to the device. So that's the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. You should see it in the shelves any day now. How much is it going for now? The uh, street price is 199 Our MSRP is 249 US. Oh, really? Yes. Thank you. Hi, I'm Scott Jeske with iConnectivity, and I'm going to show you our new iConnect Audio 4 Plus. So what we're doing here with this design is we're taking our the concepts from our iConnect MIDI products and we're adding to this analog audio in and analog audio out. So on the front you see we've got four combi jacks here. So these will accept microphone inputs, line inputs, and as well as uh, guitar inputs. We have a very simple user interface with a cap touch display. So you will be able to touch, for example, the input one and use the knob here to adjust the input volumes. Same for the output volumes and the headphone volumes. For other types of control, you'll have to use one of our uh, iConfig type applications to control such things as the internal mixing. Now on the back of the box, I'll show you that. On the back of the box, we have a stereo headphone out and we have four analog outputs and these are balanced TRS jacks. We have one set of MIDI DIN plugs. We also have uh, one device port, a second device port, and excuse the tape, but this is going to be a switch which will allow you to select whether you want the second device port active or you want the host port active. So what does that mean? So what this means is that on this device, although there are three USB ports, you can only have two of them working at a time. So one of them you will uh, probably, so for example, if you wanted to send audio and MIDI between two computers, you would have, you would use the device port. You would, the two device ports, right. or these could be two iPads or an iPad and and uh, and a computer, for example. 
If, however, you wanted to be able to host some MIDI devices, or if you wanted to host some audio devices as well, as long as they're all class compliant, you can connect them here, and just like our iConnect MIDI 4 Plus, we can host audio devices and MIDI devices here. But again, that'll be a switch, so it'll be an either-or situation there. So what we're trying to address here is that people who already have MIDI, they like our iConnect MIDI 4 product, but they want it to be able to add, for example, the ability to eliminate having a second audio interface for, to get the analog I.O. in there. So would that mean you wouldn't need to make it an aggregate device? Well, no, that's true. You wouldn't have to. This could be a standalone box that you could take with you and connect your uh, to, to an iPad, to connect headphones, your uh, headphones, your microphone inputs, analog outputs to an iPad and a computer and have that all uh, sort of a standalone solution. So it would just be a single audio driver because the, with the iConnect 2 Plus at the moment, you need to make an aggregate device, don't you? So yes. you wouldn't need that anymore. Yes, you would not need to have the aggregate. Awesome. Oh, that's great. Have you got any idea when we're going to start seeing this or how much you're trying to get it out for? Well, we're hoping to have this uh, out by the summer, this summer 2014, like June, July time frame.